Hi everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation Season 6, Episode 2, The Realm of Fear. So, this isn't a great episode, but it's not a bad episode. I mean, it has Dwight Schultz returning as Reginald Barkley. So, of course it's going to be a good episode, because any episode that has Barkley in it is a good episode. Um, so, for this one, it's kind of an interesting one, because we, we find out that Barkley has a fear of the transporter. And they kind of talk through it in the beginning part of the episode where we know Barkley's afraid of everything. And he even says that. He's like, I'm never comfortable. Um, and they kind of reference how having a fear of the transporter is nothing new. Now, some people have said like, oh, that's a shout out to McCoy from the original series. I mean, realistically speaking, this episode is kind of an allegory for like just flight travel in general, where there's a ton of people who don't like it. And they, and Jordy at one point even says, you know, transporting is the safest way to travel, which of course everybody knows from like, especially the Superman movie where he's like, you know, flying is statistically the safest way to travel. So it's, it's just kind of a, a lot of references to that. Um, it's also kind of a reference to the the fear of 30,000 feet, uh, what is it, Twilight Zone episode. But because, so Barkley's scared to transport, and when he finally does, he ends up bringing like a parasite back with him. So, of course, Barkley's fears are warranted, which it's... I don't know, it's kind of a standard type of episode in that point of view. Uh, what's interesting is this is the first episode where we see the point of view from the person in the transporter. Now we've seen the transporter evolve a lot. Um, from the original series where like they would clearly stop moving um, to, uh, what was it, I think it was the movies where they were talking and having a conversation through the transporter and then when they would start moving during the transporter um, and now we actually see it from their point of view and it's kind of interesting I mean it's all just blue lights about what you what you'd expect what I think is interesting is how Jordy is continuously like there's nothing wrong with a transporter like we've only lost maybe what five people in a hundred years from transporter and all this he just keeps going on about how the transporter is fine when like Granted, it was last season, but like six episodes ago, he had his transporter malfunction with the phase phase episode where he was cloaked in fate and out of phase with our reality. So it's like, okay, Jordy, you clearly know that things can go wrong with a transporter. Although that episode was kind of a filler episode anyway. Then again, so is this one, and it's interesting because from here we'll we'll get we'll soon get to the episode of Relics where there's also some transporter stuff going on. But overall, like I said, it's a good episode. The whole like parasite thing, a lot goes down in this episode pretty quickly, and but overall, it's okay. Like it didn't wow me. I don't know what it is about the second episode of a season, but I feel no. You know what? I take that back because after Best of Both Worlds, the second episode was Family, and that was a great episode. But yeah, this this episode was just meh. I, I I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. If anything, it gets extra bonus points for just having Barkley in it. Um, that being said, it is better than the next episode, and I will see you guys next time for Man of the People.